Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Crash Blade Gaming. I'm your host Crash, and I'm finally getting around to Xander Wojcik's second place. No, is it fourth place or third place? I don't remember, but he got top four. Let's just say he got top four. I don't remember what place he got with this Mewtwo V Union deck, which is a really big brain deck and a control deck. And you know, I do like myself some control decks. So we are finally taking a look at it. it took me a while to get a Mewtwo V Union because I never ever did a video on it, but whatever. I do love the idea of the deck. This deck is really good and it should i think it should have won the north american international championships i guess he just got a little bit unlucky while playing it anyways it's a fun deck it'll be in the description down below while you're there go ahead and subscribe to the channel like the video all that good stuff yeah let's get into the question let's just jump right to it the last video's question this pokemon can cut through iron and steel plating and is both helpful and detrimental to humans by being able to create tunnels underground who is this pokemon and if you are like qb you went ahead and guessed Excadrill. Now, there are a lot of Pokemon that can't dig tunnels, but this guy specifically, you know, he digs tunnels and he can create places where they collapse, like underneath buildings and things like this. Excadrill doesn't really care where it creates the tunnels, unlike other Pokemon, they create tunnels away from human society. And Excadrill also helps, you know, excavate places. And can also uh, cut through iron and steel, which is amazing. So Excadrill here is the answer to the question. QB now has one point. Band Socks also has one point, so we have a tie from our top competitors for the Pokemon question of the day. Let's go over this video's question. This fighting type Pokemon uses battle strategies that are similar to the battle strategies of ancient Greek armies. Who is this Pokemon? Go ahead and leave your answer in the comment section down below. And while you're there, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and like the video. It'll help me grow to 200 uh, subscribers. It'd be awesome. Appreciate it. Alrighty, deckless time. So I finally got around to building a Sander Wojcik's Mewtwo V Union deck, which is a big, big, big brain deck, which is awesome. Utilize the Silene as one of the main aspects. So Silene here is a supporter card where we flip two coins and we can put a number, uh, basically for every heads we get, we can put a card from our discard pile on the top of our deck in whichever order we want, because we can possibly put two, which is a really good card to help us not deck out. Mewtwo V Union, I wish that there was a way I can show you the entire V Union. Is there? No, there's not. Bummer. Okay, anyways, Mewtwo V Union here. The main attack we're going to be using is this Super Regeneration attack. It heals 200 damage from this from this Pokemon. So basically, we're betting that most of our opponents cannot hit higher than 200 damage, which is true for the most part. So, uh, how do we get there? We utilize the attack Union Gain as our first attack with Mewtwo when it has no damage counters on it, which is really important for us to know. So Union Gain gets two Psychic Energies from our discard, and we can attach them to the Mewtwo V Union. It also has an attack called Psy Explosion. So if we need to, we can use Psy Explosion to put 16 damage counters on our Pokemon, on our opponent's Pokemon and win that way as well. And the last attack, Final Burn, does 300 damage. It's really good. And it also has the ability Photon Barrier. prevents all of effects of attacks from our opponent's Pokemon done to its Pokemon, which is good. And we also have a backup way to help support that ability. So Mewtwo V Union is one thing we're going to get to. We also have two copies of Miltank. If they don't have a way to deal with Miltank, we pretty much just win. So Miltank's there. Four copies of Snorlax to help us draw through our deck because we need to be able to set up our cycle relatively quickly there. Two Evel Tals for Crowd Destruction. Of course, if they're playing Special Energies, this just wrecks them. That's why this is here. Two copies of Galarian Meowth for the Evolution Roar ability. Allows us to discard two cards from our hand, which is a way to get Mewtwo V Unions down and a way to just discard useless cards we don't need anymore. And one copy of Pukamuku, just so uh, it works well with Silene. When you put a card with Silene on top of the deck, you can pitch the Pukamuku and draw it. Four copies of Crushing Hammer, Discard Energies. Two copies of Palpad. This is part of the cycle, so we use Team Yell's Cheer, Palpad, and Silene. Those three cards will never let us deck out. Palpad puts two supporters back into our deck. Four Quick Ball, four Scoop Up Nets, uh, four Trekking Shoes helps us draw through our deck, four Ultra Balls. And then we have one copy of Rose Tower here, really to bounce Path to the Peak, but we don't care about Path to the Peak that much because we also have another card that helps out the Mewtwo V Union's ability. Rose Tower allows us to draw three cards, up to three cards in our hand, which is good. And let's get down to the supporters. We have one copy of Avery. This helps against Mew decks, helps against Regirox, helps against any decks that play a lot of bench Pokemon, so we can cycle that. One copy of Boss. One copy of Cook to help us heal if we need to. So if, realistically, we can possibly heal 70 damage from Mewtwo. So like if our opponent hits for 210 damage, well, we can still heal and then we have 10 damage. 
and then they hit us again, then we heal, we have 20 damage, so it gives us about 7 turns to, you know, just survive, basically. And that's why Cook's in here. We already talked about Silene putting those cards back. We have 2 copies of Flannery. Substance gets rid of stadiums and special energies from our opponent. 2 Peonia, because we need to be able to get out cards from the prizes, because this deck usually doesn't take prizes that easily. 2 Professor's Research, just to help draw through the deck. 1 Sydney here. Like it says, we can discard up to, in any combination, special energy Pokemon tool cards or stadiums from our opponent's hand. So if we know that they have important Pokemon tools, this is really what we're going to be trying to target down with Sydney. And then the other important combo here is Team Yell's Cheer. This allows us to shuffle up to three in any combination of Pokemon and supporter cards, except for Team Yell's Cheer. So usually we use this card to get back two copies of Silene and something else, or just two copies of Silene. Or maybe a Pukamuku that got discarded by mistake, a mill tank, something like that. That's what Team Yell's Cheer is for. And then we have Big Parasol. This is basically Mewtwo v Union's ability, but it also protects our Pokemon on the bench as well. As long as this Pokemon card is uh, this Pokemon is in the active spot, we prevent all effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon done to all of your Pokemon. So it's a super Mewtwo uh, ability, so it helps out in case we get past the peak. We also have a Cape of Toughness. This helps our um, Mill Tanks not get knocked out by Inteleons, things that are able to hit 110 damage. Gives our Mill Tank 160, making it a little bulkier. Do have a Tool Jammer in here just in case we need to Tool Jam in the um, Choice Belts. And then we have three Psychic Energies, perfect for Mew. And three twin energies, some of the twin energy for Mill Tank, but mainly everything is used for Mewtwo. That's the deck. I'm telling you, it's a big brain deck. The goal of the deck is to get to the point where you're just cycling Silenes and crushing hammers and things like that so that your opponent just can't do anything. That's the deck. Let's go watch it in action. All right, going second, starting with Pukamuku. Thankfully, our opponent had to mulligan once, and we got the Ultra Ball off of their mulligan. Because starting with Pukamuku would not have been that fun. We do, however, need to get two basics down this turn. So Crushing Hammer actually, no, nope, doesn't help too much. Um, but we can Ultra Ball away Team Yell's Cheer and the Psychic Energy. Uh, we can grab Mill Tank for this turn. Oh, we only have two Mewtwo pieces in here, so we definitely need Peonia, which is there. Okay. So we got some prize hunting to do. Let's grab down the mill tank. Go ahead and do this. Let's attach the twin energy. Scoop up the Pukamuku. Play the Pukamuku to pitch it. Another scoop up that's not that great. I don't want to play Crushing Hammer. Don't want to give them energy in their deck. So we'll just hit them for 10 damage with Route and hope for the best. We are in top deck mode, ladies and gentlemen. Crushing Hammer is going to become useful next turn. Because hopefully they use their Star Portal ability. They attach to Palkia. And that's it. Okay. A research. I hate to use lose Big Paracel, but that's okay. We'll put back in Team Yell's Cheer. No need to use Crushing Hammer, so we're just going to research. Not into the bestest of hands, but we can at least... Let's do Trekking Shoes first. Um, no, we don't need Flannery. Meow. okay let's go ahead and quick ball away a twin energy grab ourselves a snorlax snorlax will be good eventually and then we can go ahead and just use route again no big deal at least we have a second pokemon down is good we still have crushing hammer in our hand and we can definitely play down our hand to utilize rose tower at some point but our opponent might concede who knows they have a very slow start and we need to find our way into Peonia. They just passed the turn again. There's another Trekking Shoes for us. Yeah, we'll draw the Pukamuku. That way we can pitch it and draw one more card. Ultra Ball. I can Ultra Ball away the Scoop of Net and the Crushing Hammer. That'll grab a Mewtwo V Union piece. Play down the Meow, play down the Rose Tower. Use Rose Tower here, a Silene. Ooh, I actually might want a Silene here. Let's go ahead and Silene here. Two heads, okay. Let's go ahead and do. What do I want? 
So I'm going to lose an energy. Let's put the research there. And then top deck the research and then twin energy. Put it back in the deck at least. So because we're going to lose the other one. Maybe a scoop of net. I can always get it back later. Scoop of net seems good to get the Meowth back up. Hmm. I think we'll go with that. And then we can just do another route. <laughs> and to keep going. Research is good for next turn. Two heads off of Silene was great. I don't know what our opponent's doing. I mean, they have a huge hand. Eight cards. They just continuously keep passing. And we're just going to sit with Miltank for as long as possible. Top deck the research. Let's go ahead and get rid of the Mewtwo V Union piece. Boss's orders, Pukamuku, Energy. Let's go ahead and pitch the Pukamuku. Avery. Don't need to do much else here. Let's go ahead and route. Keep the Mew, the Meowth in play, just in case we do run into our other V Union piece. We're trying to dig for Peonia, though. Suing so Heavy Ball. Okay, that might get them another basic. There's another Palkia. There they go. They're actually starting to do something now. I'm surprised they haven't gotten down like a Greninja or anything like that. That's what I was saving the hammers for. But that's fine. And again, they just pass. I'm so confused. Okay. Let's go ahead and Meowth. Let's get rid of these Eveltals. We don't need them. Check the deck one more time here. We have both Peonias. So they're in there. We can put back... Uh, Silene with this pal pad. Don't need the other research. I think we're just going to go ahead and do that. Let's put back in the Silene. Um, don't need Flannery yet, so let's just do that. Research. Trying to get into our Peonia, then we still miss Peonia. It's a bit of a bummer. Uh, Ultra Ball first. Ultra Ball away. Meowth. And that. Grab the other Mewtwo V Union piece. Quick ball it away. Pukamuku. Maybe this will give us into a Peonia for next turn. No, still no. Okay, well then we'll still just route. Do 30 damage now. Increase the damage because they benched that other Palkia. I wonder if they're holding their hand until they can find a Greninja or something to hit this mill tank. Be interesting. Or boss's orders to go after our Snorlax something. Not 100% sure what they're trying to do, but next turn we can at least do a Silene. Echoing Horn from our opponent. Okay. So they're going to bring back something. An Eveltal. We can just scoop that up with Scoop of Net. No big deal. Don't mind that at all. We waste the scoop up net, but we can always get them back with Silene, so that's okay. There's another Snorlax. Not what we're looking for. Let's go ahead and play Silene. One heads this time. Um, I think we put back... No, we don't need to put back Palpad. I think we grab... Another Research. No, because I'm going to... I don't want to lose Team Yell's cheer. Mm. Need a supporter. Guess we put back Avery. No, let's do a trekking shoes. Put back a trekking shoes. I can scoop up the Eveltal. Use Evolution Roar. Get rid of Cook and Eveltal. I know it shuffles the deck, but that's okay. Rose Tower for one. Pukamuku is cool. That gets us another one at least. Maybe it's a Peonia this time. It's not. It's another Snorlax. We route. We're either going to use Peonia or we're going to knock out this Palkia to get our prizes. One way or another, it's going to happen. Um, next turn, we can use Team Yell's Cheer. Put back in Avery and Silene and the boss's orders, I suppose. <clears throat> and move on from there. I really, I'm really confused as to what our opponent's trying to do maybe they think i'm gonna deck myself out but in reality i'm not so i don't know 
There's an Irida, okay. Maybe they were just completely waiting for a turn to get Greninja into play. Sobble, Quick Ball, okay. Now they're playing some cards. Now they're going. They had a Battle VIP pass too, that's insane. That's all they do. They might play Rare Candy. Um... Actually, yes, we do want that Cape of Toughness. Let's put that on. Let's play down a Snorlax. Let's go ahead and play Team Yell's Cheer. Put back in Avery, uh, Boss's Orders, and Silene. Rose Tower. There's a Peonia finally, which is fantastic. Okay, let's go ahead and use Route. But for 70 damage, if they play any more uh, basics, we could knock out this pocket. I wonder if they, let's see if they have the Rare Candy and Teleon. That's why I put the Cape of Toughness on Miltank, which is really good. So it stops it from getting a one shot by Inteleons. The next turn, we have the ability to Peonia. If we so choose. And now they evolve into a Drizzile. Okay, that could get them the Rare Candy and Teleon. Both pal pads are down, so we do have to be mindful of that when we use Silene at some point. Mewtwo v Union. We're looking to get Mewtwo v Union up and going this matchup. A boss's orders. Okay. I don't mind a boss's orders coming down. They can knock out one of my Snorlaxes on the bench. It's fine with me. 180 damage. Go up with Miltank here again. Another Silene. I think I would want to draw one more card before I play Peonia, and I don't want to play Silene down just yet. Because those will be cards I need, so we're just going to go ahead and do another route. This Palkia does get knocked out next turn if they don't move it. So they could do Star Portal next turn. There's a Shady Dealings and Teleon with the Aqua Bullet ability, so we now have to be careful. Now we have to be careful and watch out here. We have plenty of Pokemon to work with. There's a Capacious Bucket and an Irida. So they are retreating into the Inteleon. That makes perfect sense. They have a Capacious Bucket and Star Portal to use here. Though they're not going to knock out the Miltink, which is good for us. Evolution Incense, another Drizzile. Hopefully they don't Marnie me. I do like having my Peonias. Okay, another Quick Ball. That's fine. We did put Boss's Orders back in the deck. So it could be possible to draw that next turn. Which would be hilarious. Star Portal. And they're going to power up their Inteleons. They bought enough time to be able to set this up pretty quickly. Good for them. There's an Aqua Bullet going for my Meowth and Miltank here. We don't get a Boss's Orders, but we can finally play Peonia. Let's go ahead and play the Peonia. Let's do one, two, and three. There's one Mewtwo piece, Crushing Hammer, and both Mewtwo pieces. Okay. So we put back a Snorlax, we put back an Ultra Ball, and we put back a Quick Ball. Seems good to me. We can use Meowth, Evolutionary Roar, get rid of the Mewtwo pieces. Cool. And then I can play Crushing Hammer. Which is good. Knock off an energy from the active. Rose Tower. Do I have energy left over? I don't think so. I think I need a Silene first. Yeah, I definitely need a Silene first. Play down another Snorlax, I suppose. And then go with a Route here. Hit for 70. Not quite two shining the Inteleon, but that's okay. Don't need the Meowth anymore. There's an Irida from our opponent. I'm sure they have more energy. I've only seen four. So that's good to note. But we should be able to get this uh, going here soon. Let them knock out a few more Pokemon so that their Palkias aren't doing that much damage. Oh, they scoop up the Inteleon. That's fine. You lose an energy that way. So 
Next turn we can Silene for a Pal Pad and an Energy. Get rid of my Rose Tower. Oh, Training Cord is actually much better for us. Okay. Training Cord helps me get back Psychic Energies. And there's three in the discard. No problemo for us. Okay. Draw cards, Quick Ball. Let's go ahead and Silene. Ooh, don't flip double tails. Okay. So this time we just get back a Pal Pad. That's cool. Um, we can go ahead and use Training Court here. Get back an Energy. And then... <coughs> hmm. Don't know if we want to get the Mewtwo down just yet. Because we need to be able to use Super Regeneration as soon as possible. The thing is, is like I need to be able to scoop up this Snorlax and then use Super Regeneration. So let's Gormandize. Another Milk Tank's cool. Snorlax can take a hit from the um, Inteleon, which is good. Need to get into my other Silene though. Quick ball away the Sydney, I suppose. A Melanie from our opponent, that's good. That helps them recycle some of their energies. Do they have one in the discard? They do. They still have four prizes to take. They're going to take at least one this turn. They can knock out the Meowth, which is good for them. But Snorlax can tank a hit, which is good. All right. Let's go ahead and quick ball away this Sydney here. I want to see if we have a scoop up net in the deck. We don't. Which is fine. Let's go ahead and play Silene then. We can get a scoop up net this turn. Perfect. Let's go ahead and do scoop up net plus crushing hammer. And we have an energy. So Union Gain gets us two Psychic Energies. And we need three Energies for Super Regeneration. Which is perfect. Okay, so we'll do that. Scoop up Net Crushing Hammer. Let's go Pukamuku. Pitch it. That grabs us our Scoop up Net. And then we can go ahead and do a Mewtwo. Perfect. Attach the energy. Scoop up the Snorlax. Go in with Mewtwo. Uh, don't need to play the Pal Pad just yet. Although I probably should. Let's do it now. Yeah, let's go ahead and Pal Pad back in a Silene and Team Yells Cheer. Or does Flannery make any sense? It does. Do Flannery. Flannery makes sense to play right now. Trekking Shoes. Uh, yeah, we can draw the Avery. That's fine. And then let's go ahead and Union Gain. Attach the Psychic Energies to our Mewtwo V Union. And now it can just loop Super Regeneration. I don't think Palkia is going to be able to do enough damage to take out our Mewtwo V Union here. We have Avery for next turn, which is good, so if they do fill out their bench, we can just discard their Pokemon. And then they can see, because they know they can't beat us after that. Perfect. We'll take the win. Okay, we get to go first here. Uh, going up against some kind of Lightning Box deck, so I don't think we'll be needing this Eveltal. Uh, we'll see. Um, I guess we Ultra Ball here away... Mewtwo and Silene because I'm going to research next turn and I can pow pat it back in. So let's do that. Uh, we'll grab Snorlax. We have all the Mewtwo pieces in here. Both Silene's, both Peonias, and Team Yell's Cheer. Looks like we are missing one of the pow pads, so that's good to note. Let's go ahead and grab the Snorlax, scoop up the Eveltal. And then we'll go ahead and do a Gormandize here for three. And hope our Snorlax can stay uh, 
in the active for our opponents next turn. Hopefully they're not able to get a knockout. We'll see. But uh, this is a control deck. We are waiting. We will see if we can get our Mewtwo V Union out this matchup. If it's worth it or not. I don't know. We don't see any Pokemon V from our opponent. And there goes a Lightning Energy. I don't know who the main attacker is. They do have a Zekrom though. Which definitely takes out our mill tanks so we do have to be careful with that they did play a special energy speed energy so evelto might actually be worth benching here and giving the twin energy they do an escape rope they're going to go into the zekrom which isn't that big of a problem ultra ball away speed energy pikachu v union so battle of the v unions will take it they did get rid of another special energy though so that's decent and our research, they got two pieces in there. So we are going to have to watch out for this Pikachu V Union. Crushing Hammers aren't going to be that good either in this matchup because of those Flaffers. But we'll see. Zekroms are scary. They do take out our Miltanks. So we also have to be more mindful about that. But let's not reveal Miltanks unless we have to. They did get rid of a Roxanne, which is good. And they are going through their deck pretty fast. Which we don't mind whatsoever. Okay, our turn. Another Trekking Shoes. Let's go ahead and play down the Eveltal. Trekking Shoes. We'll take a quick ball. That's fine. Trekking Shoes again. Uh, we don't need a Meowth. Another Trekking Shoes is cool. Uh, nope. We'll discard the Scoop Up Net. And we get another Scoop Up Net anyways. We can quick ball away this Psychic Energy. Grab out... Maybe another Snorlax, I suppose. Maybe we go for a Meowth. How many Scoop Up Nets? We got one left. We're about to lose another one. Mm. Maybe we go for another Snorlax. It might get knocked out. We'll see. Do that. Attach the Twin Energy. Laughing only attaches to the bench. So we also... We might actually just want to attack with Eveltal here. I think that's the plan let's just attack with eveltal here we'll stop them from uh hitting us next turn put back in silene and then we can research cape of toughness is good for our um mill tanks we did get a v union in the discard that's good um i don't think we're going to be playing much else here i think we'll just hold the hand we'll go ahead and use cry of destruction to discard their special energy and then we'll pass the turn to them. We did get another Mewtwo piece in the discard, which is pretty good for us. We did lose a Peonia, unfortunately. Dynamoner does only go to bench, right? Yep, it does. Okay, good to know. And the more special energies we get rid of, the less they actually have to work with. Do pull out a mana view. They're probably just discard your during your opponents so they can't play any item cards. Disconnect is 150. Electable together is 250. Just checking out what they got. There's a Peonia. They might have some reunion pieces prized. Don't know for sure. Actually, Cape of Toughness does help our mill tank survive the Zekroms here. And we could take some early knockouts. So I think I might Ultra Ball away the Meowth and go for a mill tank play. They attach to the bench Zekrom. Should be able to power it up this turn. Yes, they do. And if they attack this turn, we could possibly get an attack off ourselves. Take a KO. Just need to find another twin energy in the deck. We'll see if we have it or in the prizes. Don't remember exactly how much we should play, but it's there. Alright, so they will be able to do Wild Shock. We'll get a Gormandizing Snorlax in the active. And go from there. They get another V Union piece in the discard. That one has static shocking shock. If they flip heads, we are paralyzed. Okay. Get out of there. Good to know. Get out of there. Okay, they knock out our Eveltal. They get to take a prize. They go down to 70 HP remaining. We have a Snorlax. I think Peonia is going to get us our twin energy if we don't have another one in the deck. Because we don't have a supporter either. <clears throat> so we're gonna have to play down the Meowth. I think we just get rid of the boss's orders. No big deal with the quick ball. Waiting for our opponent to select the prize. Maybe they forgot what they put back with Peonia. Alright. And Snorlax in the active. 
But we did get a, a research off of the top deck, which is really good, actually. So let's quick ball, get rid of the boss's orders, go for our mill tank here. Do we have another twin energy? We do. We only have one, though. I don't remember how many. I think we play. I think we only play two. Let's go ahead and attach the Cape of Toughness to mill tank. Doesn't make sense to Peonia now, but we're going to lose them both, which is okay. Heads is good. It means I can't easily do use a static shock next turn go ahead and research tool jammer's nice we can go ahead and use poke gear oh didn't want to get rid of those um we evolution roar away a new 2 v union piece and snorlax here see what's left in the deck we have a twin energy left so there is no reason to play down the psychic energy onto the mill tank let's just go ahead and give you a tool jammer let's play down another snorlax play down a second crushing hammer get rid of another energy that's good uh give meowth an energy doesn't really matter and then we can gormandize for six and next turn we should be able to get our v union out we do have an attack with mill tank if they knock out our Snorlax, which they can, it's completely possible. But next turn we can guarantee ourselves a V Union, which is good. They do also have their own V Union as well. I think I just saw the last piece go in. No, I didn't. Maybe it was a different gold card that I saw. But Ultra Ball does do it. It does search out that last piece if they have it. Oh no, it searches out a Mareep. Is it prize? Maybe their last piece is prize, which... Oh no, no, they did get it. What am I saying? It's there. Pikachu V Union is there. We will have a Mewtwo V Union next turn. If we choose. But we also have Miltank, so they have to worry about Miltank. We need to get into our Sarlenes as well to cycle the Miltanks. And they are powering up the Zekrom on the bench. I don't think we have any scoop up nets left. They're all four are in the discard, so this Snorlax does have to get knocked out. Can also use an Avery next turn as well, which would be interesting against our opponent. Okay. They are coming up with Zekrom. And a research. Good for us. We can Avery them next turn, which will be really good, especially if they bench their Mewtwo, their Pikachu V Union. We will be able to take a knockout on the Zekrom, I think. Route is doing 20, 60, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90 damage. They didn't have a boss's orders to take out a mill tank, so that's good. And we can still Avery them. Force them to lose either the Radiant Greninja or something else. Let's go ahead and attach the twin energy here. Quick ball away the Mewtwo piece. Our Silenes are in the deck. We need to get into them. That's for sure. Say done. I think it's safe to put the Mewtwo V Union piece down. I'm not too sure. If we Avery, they don't have an easy way to retreat. Play two scoop up nets. They might have air balloons in their hands. Let's go ahead and throw the Mewtwo V Union down. Play it. Seems good to me. Give it a big parasol. And then we can Avery. Force them to discard the Radiant Greninja, possibly. Team Yell's Cheer is good. Crushing Hammer is okay. Silene is good, too. Gives us scoop up nets and energy back because we don't have any energy left. And they do get rid of Radiant Greninja. And we're going to go ahead and route here. Take a KO. Take a prize. Twin Energy is actually a really good prize. Okay. We can attach that to our Mewtwo V Union, which is perfect. Next turn, we can retreat this Mill Tank as well. We can also Team Yells cheer our boss's orders back in. So I think we have one prized. Oh, no, no, we only play one. So we can Team Yells cheer that back in and possibly get into a boss's orders, which would be really good as well. Looking good. So they're going to have to scoop up or air balloon the Flaffy. Makes sense. They need energy in hand to be able to attack with their Zekrom. Cynthia's ambition, and I... Okay, they have a pow pad. I was about to say, we're going to win off a deck out, but nope. 
They have a pal pack. Shuffle back in a boss's orders and a Roxanne. Roxanne's not going to do much for our opponent. Dynamotors to the Zekrom. Do they have an energy in hand? They might have one more speed energy. Oh, they have training court. Okay. Training court is a way to get back energy. Good for our opponent. We will be able to use Union Gain next turn. Though I only have one Psychic Energy in the discard. Uh-oh. That means this, Mew this Meowth needs to get picked up. <laughs> okay, that's going to be interesting. Wild Shock doesn't knock out our Mill Tank though, which is actually pretty good, but it does paralyze us. Which is unfortunate. Hmm. Let's go ahead and Silene. One heads. Two heads is really good. Okay. So we can get back a Pal Pad and a Scoop Up Net. Let's do Scoop Up Net first. And then Pal Pad. Oh man. Pukamooka's prize, isn't it? Don't necessarily need Pal Pad yet. Let's do Pukamooka. Dang it. We're going to shuffle the deck. So I can Ultra Ball for it. That's all right. Put those back in. Uh, attach the twin energy to the Mewtwo V Union. Do you get to attack next turn? You do, and you survive with 10 HP. And then Crushing Hammer doesn't really do much. I could play the Trekking Shoes, but then I'd lose one of the cards I just put back in. No, I don't, right? Because I put back in Scoop Up Net first. Trekking shoes. Yes, we want the scoop up net. I could deny them a prize off of this mill tank. But then again, I don't really care. And I can just give them a Meowth. Then they put Boss's Orders and Roxanne back in, so I don't want to do that either. So let's scoop up the Meowth so that the energy's in the discard for Mewtwo. Ultra Ball that away. Grab the Pukamuku. And then. We have 30 HP left. So they actually can just use Slash. So then we'll pass. That's okay. No big deal. I think we're good here. I don't know if they have a way to recur some of their stuff. We can use Team Yell's Cheer next turn. To put back in Silene's and Boss's Orders. Would Sydney be worth it? I don't think so. I do want to play Flannery to get rid of their training court, though. It's one way that they're getting back some energies. They could start powering up their Pikachu V Union this turn as well. Here it comes. Here comes the Pikachu V Union. They're gonna get they're gonna be able to get three energies onto it, and they can use Shocking Shock or Disconnect or the other attack as well. I wonder if they top deck a boss though. Crushing Hammer is going to come in handy against this Mewtwo V Union. That's why I didn't get rid of it just yet. Then we're going to also want to play Flannery to get rid of that Training Court. But they do need to take out this Mill Tank with that Zekrom. Oh, they just scoop up the Zekrom. Okay. They do only need two energy. Oh, they're already using Dynamotor. Does Pikachu actually hit our Mill Tank? It doesn't, right? They must have a boss to go after our YouTube Union. That's fine. Disconnect does 150. Can't play any item cards. Fair. Hmm. We have 160 left. They can do 250. Can't play item cards. How can I help this? <clears throat> we have one card left. We know it's a Roxanne. They might have a scoop of net in their hand. They don't have another boss, that's for sure. 
Can I not retreat? Why can't I retreat? Uh, okay, I'm gonna play Flannery, chill. Can't play an item card from my hand, right? Can't play any item cards from my hand. So why is that I can't retreat? Because this is a Pokemon B, that's why. Uh-oh. Play Pukamuku. Oh, uh, I think we're stuck here. It's not good. All I can do is Union gain. We're gonna lose our Mewtwo v Union. Oh man, what a bummer. But, unless they can put more cards in their deck, we win. Do they have like an Ordinary Rod or something? To put back in at least one card. They have to knock out a Mewtwo v Union this turn. They can do that with either the Pikachu or the Zekrom. Electro Ball together, that's all they do. We lose our Mewtwo v Union, but we win. We'll go ahead and take it. We were able to out, out a Union our opponent here. That was a really close one, but they did have to burn through a bunch of resources to be able to win, and that's the point of this deck. So we're just going to go ahead and route. We'll take this win. We'll take it. It's hard to pilot this deck, that's for sure. Well, there you have it, folks. You saw people just concede. People have played this deck enough now that they just concede when we get to the late game after I get Mewtwo V Union down, or I'm just able to cycle through things and they just can't keep up with the mill tanks. It's whatever. It's a really it's a really fun deck to play as a control player because you're able to just do so much in, in, in the uh, late games and Crushing Hammers and Silene puts things back. It's just... I like it. it makes me want to visit Floatzel. I kind of want to revisit Floatzel, but we'll see. Anyways, that was the deck. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time on Crash Point Gaming.